Welcome to Movement Monday, where we talk about everything from your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft. My name is Matthew Cook, and I'm here to help you keep moving forward. Today, we're going to be talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is this concept of time management versus energy management. Now, many of you perhaps have heard of energy management. Some of you perhaps have heard of time management. Here's the thing. There's only one that according to our body actually works. So I'll give you a good example. One of my clients, we'll call him Chris, went through my course, the Supreme Performance Academy. And at the end of those six weeks being in that course, and I'm going to be continuing that in your body blueprint. Chris was able to go from working eight hour days across his day because that's what you're supposed to do, work from nine to five. What Chris ended up finding was that he could actually, by taking advantage of energy management versus time management, he was able to get all of his work done in four hours. So half the time, what he found is he was actually four times, four times more productive in those four hours four hours instead of the eight hours that he was originally working. So what's important about this for you? So in doing energy management, what I want you to consider is a couple things. Instead of considering how much time do I need to work, time is a symptom of what's assumed you're going to get completed within that time window. So there's something called Parkinson's law. And if you're at all a fan of Tim Ferriss, you've probably heard of it is that an activity stretches to the amount of time that you allot it. So if you only give yourself four hours to do a work day, you're only gonna, you're gonna get that activity done. But if you give yourself eight hours to do that same activity, it's gonna take you eight hours. Cause again, that's what you've unconsciously programmed your mind for, well, it's gonna take me about eight hours. So it's gonna take you eight hours to do it. You're gonna spend half your time just whittling away on Facebook, doing something silly on Instagram, posting a video on YouTube, instead of actually doing what you're there to do. So in terms of productivity, what's so much more vital is that we're spending time taking a look at our energy and taking a look specifically at when do you, you have the most energy. So if you're a driven solopreneur, one who's wanting to be an embodied leader for others, you want to really focus on when am I actually at my best? When am I my most inspired? When do I have the energy to truly put forward critical thinking, also critical body thinking, body wisdom, and more on that in other episodes, but to really make sure that I'm using my best and bringing my best to the table. And for me, I know right now as I'm making this video at just after 1 p.m., this is about my prime. So I would say for me, it's around anywhere from 11 to, yeah, probably I'd say 10, I'd say 10 a.m. to about 1.30 p.m. is really when I'm at my peak. So For you, you have to decide when are you at your peak and then spend time actually recharging your nervous system so that you can come back again later and hit it again. So energy management, so vitally important. Again, as I said, my client Chris went from working eight hours to working four hours and being four times more productive in that time. His output dramatically increased working less time. And this is not some like crazy sciencey thing or some crazy like voodoo thing. And this isn't some crazy like business quick get rich scheme. This is like true life. This is what people do when they implement really simple systems and tools and ask themselves really good questions. You want better results, ask yourself better questions. And that's one of them is when do you have the most energy? When do you have the most inspiration? Choose to prioritize the thing that you're wanting to work on the most in your life. So that actually may not even be your business. That may be your relationships. That may be your hobbies. That may be your fitness during those times. And then cycle that through and put other things at the top of the priority list and work those during that time as well. So with that, this is a really long movement Monday. Happy, happy Monday. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. And here is to your energy management. Keep moving forward.